A lot of fights, too. Before I get to the questions today, that's the last topic I want to touch on. I've mentioned it before. I wrote about it last night. We should not, as fans or media, accept the shit happens reaction to fights at games. Hey, fans go to games. They drink before. They drink inside. They drink and drink. They get drunk. It's an emotional game. They see players hitting each other. They start hitting each other. And we just kind of accept it. Hey, if you're going to go to a game, be careful. Be careful who you say that that thing to. Be careful who you look at. You know, a lot of start, a lot of fights get started or starts get fighted. Fights get started because somebody was just looking at somebody. Hey, what happened? How'd that get started? He was looking at me. And well, he was looking at me. And so the fact that the fights are happening is proof in and of itself that the league is failing to properly protect the paying customers. And I went through the whole CLE, continuing legal education exercise, I believe on PFTPM earlier this year, I think, I don't remember, but it goes like this. When you own land, when you own property and people come onto it, there are three categories of people who can come onto your land. Trespasser, you owe the lowest possible duty under the law to a trespasser because they're not supposed to be there anyway. Licensee, somebody you allow to come onto your land. You're doing them a favor by letting them come onto your land when you have no obligation to let them come onto your land, but you're letting them. You have a higher standard for them because you're saying, come onto my land for your own benefit. Then there's the invitee, the person who's on your land for your benefit, the paying customer, the person at the grocery store, up and down the aisle with the cart, banana peel on the floor, you better go get it. Because that person slips and falls, it's on you. Why? Because that person is there to give you money. That person is there to help your business. That's what every fan of an NFL game is. So why isn't there a greater outcry for teams, the league, the stadium operators to do better? One fight is a failure. Put more security in the stands. Put more security throughout the sections. Whatever you have, it's not enough. And the fan helpline, text line. Isn't that just window dressing to make it look like they're doing something? Is that really effective? It must not be because fights still happen. Sell less beer. You know, I think we're going to see in the future stadiums that don't have an upper deck. Because I would suggest and believe, I haven't studied this, but you probably have more of the problems from the fans who are in the upper deck. So just get rid of the upper deck, make it a 35, 40,000 seat stadium. Prices get increased. It leaves some people out. But you know what? Hey, everybody got you know TV and Sunday ticket and whatnot. I just think that at some point, if the NFL isn't going to make the game safer, at some point, the fans just shouldn't go. Why would you go? I got some emails today from people who are like, thank you for writing that because, you know, I want to go to a few games, but I don't want to put myself in a position where I have to have my head on a swivel because I don't know when some drunk asshole is going to hit me. Now, a lot of the folks are giving it back and it just escalates. But even then, that doesn't make it right. It should never devolve to the point of violence. It's like this is one of the environments where we accept the fact that people can act like jerks and it ultimately crosses over into some sort of altercation. We know it happens. The league knows it happens. The teams know it happens. So there's an obligation to make it not happen. Again, these are people who are on your property, NFL teams, for your benefit, to give you money. Money to get in, money to park their cars, money for the overpriced beer, money for the overpriced food, money for the overpriced merch, money, 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 money. Spend some of that money to take care of them. Not after the fact, when a fight results in some sort of serious injury and you get sued. And if defend the lawsuit, you attack the plaintiff, try to make them look bad, make it look like they started it, hire the law firm that's going to put the pit bull on the case that just goes after them, try to minimize the exposure, and then eventually settle it. That's not the way to do it. Spend the money to keep this stuff from ever happening. That's the right way to go. Hopefully one of these days the NFL will do it, and hopefully we won't be talking about, reading about, writing about all these fights. 
Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.